Welcome on this the Feast of Christ the King. It's Sunday the 22nd November 2020. It's the last Sunday of the church year. It's also the patronal festival of this, our mission and daughter church of Christ the King, built 135 years ago as an outreach from the parish church into the further part of our parish to reach all people in new and exciting ways. And more of that a little later. For now, let's sing our first hymn, All People That On Earth Do Dwell. Our Gospel reading today was taken from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 25, verses 31 to 46. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him. And he will separate people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand, and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. 
I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, You that are accursed, depart from me into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not give me clothing. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they will also answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger? or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not take care of you? Then he will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Good afternoon and welcome to our Church of Christ the King. And when I say our church, that's exactly what it is. It is our church. It's a part of our parish of Russell. When we speak of Russell Church, many people will automatically think of the parish church, the Church of St. Michael the Archangel. And they often forget that Christ the King is our church too. It's a part of the parish church, an outreach of the parish church. It's not a separate church or a separate parish. It is a part 
of the parish church, an arm reaching out deeper into our parish. It came into being 135 years ago, in 1887, when, to meet a changing world and a changing need, the church in Russia sat down and decided it needed to do something new to meet that changed situation. The parish had changed beyond recognition. In 1220, when St Michael's was first built, there were a few scattered farms, and that was all. And the church was built next to Rushall Hall, or Rishale, as it was then known. And then in the succeeding centuries, more housing grew up here and there, in villas and farmsteads. And in 1440, the church was demolished and, uh, and a new church built. But the parish continued to change. And in the 1800s, the population grew massively. The farms disappeared and streets grew up. At St Michael's, the medieval church was knocked down in 1850 and the current church of St Michael's was built with galleries in the transepts and a bigger nave it fitted more people. But the parish had changed at this part of the parish as well, up towards Pelsall and Shellfield. And what had been fields was now housing for the workers. And it was realised that those workers were not making the one or two mile walk to St Michael's to worship. And so the question arose, how do we reach them? And the answer was to create Christ the King, to reach out deeper into our parish, to come to the people where they are, rather than to expect them to come to us. And so, fittingly in the Industrial Revolution, a prefabricated tin tabernacle was purchased. The land was donated by Lady Stokes and the church was erected onto it. And Christ the King came into being and is still here today this temporary building but here we are today and the world has changed even further and beyond recognition and especially in this last year our world has changed totally and so today we face the same challenge as we faced 135 years ago how do we reach people where they are what do we have to do where do we have to go? And how do we go about it? Our Gospel reading today is well known to many people, the sheep and the goats. I was hungry, you gave me no food. Thirsty, you gave me no drink. Naked, you did not feed me. When? When did we see all this and not do it for you? When you didn't do it to the least of one of these who are members of my family? You did not do it to me. Many people will often read that and think it's about charitable works, about looking after the poor of the world, the hungry, the thirsty, the naked. And those things are important and are our Christian duty, of course they are. But that's not what this reading is about. It's about how people react to the disciples of Jesus. If you did it or did not do it to the least of these who are members of my family, you did not do it to me. It's about mission. It's about the reaction of the people of the world to the followers of Jesus Christ as they go out and proclaim the good news. When you read St Paul's letters, he writes about how many times he was starving or thirsty, wandering naked, sleepless nights, hardships, imprisonments, beatings. All these things that Jesus speaks of in this reading this morning. It's about how the world treats Jesus' followers as they go out and proclaim the good news. And yes, we have a Christian duty to look after the poor, whether they be members of the church or not, followers of Christ or not. And we do that already. And we do that well and we'll continue to do that. The project we support in Malawi to change the needs 
and the ex life experiences of women there with sanitation, education, giving them life choices. Our support of the Glebe Centre, looking after the homeless, providing food and clothing. The work through Pauline of providing for female uh, refugees and their children. And all these things are good and necessary, important, and part of our Christian duty. But we have another duty too, which is to go out and change people's lives with the good news of Jesus Christ. Paul, writing to his friend Timothy, tells him to be persistent, whether people are willing to listen or not. Be persistent. Continue your work as an evangelist. And the challenge we face today in our church of St. Michael's and Christ the King is how do we go out and proclaim that good news? 135 years ago it was to build this, our daughter church, our mission church of Christ the King to provide a place for worship and prayer for the working part of our parish. And that need is still there, but there's changing needs as well, as the world and the way we live has changed beyond recognition. Our reading today was about how people respond, but the challenge for us is to let is to allow people to see us, to give a reaction, whether it be favourable or not. How can they react if they don't notice us? How are they going to notice us if we're not making a difference in our community? Not just the good works we do, but in the proclamation we make. It may be that reaction will be indifference or ridicule. Or it may be that people's hearts and souls are touched and they want to come and join us in worship. Whatever their reaction is, there can be no reaction unless we are noticed and they're not going to notice unless we start doing new things in new ways now I don't know what those ways are I don't have the answers what I do know is all of us together as a church here in Christ the King and in our parish church of St Michael's must find new ways to meet new challenges to make a difference to people's lives touch their hearts, to bring hope where there is hopelessness, light where there is darkness, faith where there is doubt, to make people realise that there is purpose, that Christ is our King and that he is Lord of all and that there is a meaning and a purpose and in the fullness of time God's purpose will be fulfilled challenge for us all is to make that known to the people of our parish through both of our church buildings and in new and exciting ways this sermon on YouTube is one of those new ways but we have to be noticed we must be seen and heard touch people's lives in ways that make a difference to them and challenge them to have a response whether it be favourable or unfavourable, but to respond to you and to me, to the church here in Russia, the church which is made up of the children of God. And whatever that reaction is, is the reaction by which the world will be judged. We have a challenge, but also an opportunity to go out into that world that God has made Proclaim the good news that Jesus Christ is King, that he makes a difference in our world and in our lives, and in everything we do, everything we are, everything we say, to show that difference to all whom we meet. Amen.
and so our prayer. God the Father, help us to hear the call of Christ the King and to follow in his service, whose kingdom has no end, for he reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, one glory. Amen. <laughs>